while high yield savings accounts can give a rather high interest rate of 3.85% or more, the downside is that there are always certain criteria that you need to fulfill in order to earn the interest. If you are a freelancer, student or NSF who doesn't have a fixed income or credit card, too bad you'll be missing out on all those sweet, sweet interest. So an alternative is to use cash management accounts, which can give anywhere from 3.7% return all the way to as high as 5.8% return. However, just keep in mind that cash management accounts are investments and not savings accounts, yeah? Which means that one, there is a risk of losing money and two, they are not SDIC insured. Unlike banks, which are insured for up to 75k if the bank collapses. In this video, we'll be going through the top 9 cash management accounts to see what are the returns, historical max loss, and withdrawal time to decide which is the best account for you to park your money in. Also, do join my Telegram group to ask or discuss any questions that you may have. With that being said, let's jump right in. Here, I've compiled a list of all the top cash management accounts in Singapore. And just in case you're wondering, yes, the list is totally free to download. Link down below, yeah? First up, we have Chocolate Finance, which was just launched in August 2023. And oh boy, this is one incredibly polarizing platform. On one hand, you have people hungry for the you. On the other, you have people distrusting the platform. I won't go too deep into how Chocolate Finance works because I've already covered it in this video. But essentially, here's why many people are skeptical about the platform. First, Chocolate is giving a fixed 4.5% return on the first 20k, which is rather high when compared to other safe investments such as t which is only offering 3.7% or fixed deposits, which is only offering 3.5%. Second, it allows users to instantly withdraw 20k in a day, something which none of the other platforms are able to offer. So when you combine a high yield plus instant withdrawals, it definitely sounds risky. But here are four things that give me a little more confidence in the platform. One, the founder of Chocolate Finance Walter D. Ode isn't just some random guy. He's someone who has experience in this field. Two, the fund manager, Helen Port Investments Private Limited, is regulated by MAS, which means there's a lower risk of sticky sticky business happening. Three, our funds are kept in a separate custodian account, which means that they'll be safe even if the company jiba boom and fails. And lastly, Chocolate Finance had a $19 million funding last year which may be useful to cover any losses if required. So how risky are the funds that are used to generate the returns? Check this out. I went to Endowers and key in the funds and saw that there was a max loss of negative 5.74% that happened in 2022. However, unless the Fed were to suddenly raise rates fast and furious all over again, we won't be seeing this big drop in the near future. But nevertheless, is still a risk that you will need to be aware of. So that's chocolate finance. The 4.5% fixed return is definitely high, but it's only worth it if you are comfortable with the risk. Moving on, we have Endowers Cash Smart. There are three tiers for you to choose from. First is the Cash Smart Secure, which gives 3.6 to 3.9% return. Cash Smart Enhance, 4.3 to 4.6%, and Cash Smart Ultra. 4.6 to 4.9%, none guaranteed of course. As expected, the higher the return, the higher the risk. For the safest portfolio, the historical max loss is just negative 0.05%. Whereas for the highest risk portfolio, it has lost negative 5.39%. I would say Endowers is definitely much safer than Chocolate Finance. It has $5 billion assets under management and raised another $35 million recently and has a much longer history of being around. The good thing is that you are able to invest both cash and SRS into Endowers Cash Smart. As for the downside, withdrawals will take anywhere from 2 to 5 business days, depending on whether it's cash or SRS. Next, FSM1 Auto Sweep. So how this works is that if you opt into auto sweeps, FSM will automatically transfer all your idle funds into the auto sweep account to earn a higher return. Right now, the SGD auto sweep account is giving about 3.11% net yield. 
after taking into account all the fees. The funds that you'll be investing in are 25% Lion Global SGD Enhanced Liquidity Fund, 25% United SGD Money Market Fund, 35% Fullerton SGD Cash Fund, and the remaining 15% in cash. But how safe are these funds? Incredibly safe. Even when the market was crashing left and right in 2021 and 2022, the funds be like meh and kept going up steadily. In fact, the lowest return they had gotten wasn't even a negative number. It was just 0.1%. That's because the majority of these funds are what we call money market funds that invest in stable, short-term, low-risk securities that are very liquid. And over its long history of being around, there have only been two incidents in which money market funds lost money. So it's as safe as it gets when it comes to investments. The good thing about the auto sweep account is that it instantly lets you invest the money whenever you want. But if you want to withdraw the money back to your account, it will take about one business day to get back your money. Next, Mumu also offers a similar feature with the Mumu Cash Plus, which lets you earn a return on your idle funds. For SGD, it will be investing in the Fullerton SGD Cash Fund, which is currently giving about 3.7% yield. But the special thing about Mumu is that if you sign up to them now and subscribe to Cash Plus, you will get a 5.8% guaranteed return for up to 80k for 30 days. So if you do the math, that's a total of $380 worth of returns. And of course, there are also other sign up rewards, such as 3 $20 Tesla fractional shares when you deposit 3k and perform 3 buy trades. Then another 10 $20 Tesla fractional shares when you deposit 10k and perform 10 buy trades. As for safety, it's the usual risk. Money market funds are investments, which means they can lose money. Though, for the Fullerton SGD cash fund, the lowest it has gone so far is 0.25% in a year. Other risks include liquidity risk in a bank run event and UMU can close down. Though, your funds will still be safe as they are kept in a separate custodian account. Similarly, the good thing about UMU Cash Plus is that it instantly lets you invest the money when you need to. But if you want to withdraw the money back to your bank, it will take about 1 to 4 business days to get back your money. Moving on, Philip Smart Park is similar to other auto sweep accounts, so I won't go through it again. But in short, it's investing in the Philip Money Market Fund, which is currently giving 3.23% yield. Money in Smart Park can be invested immediately. As for withdrawals back to your bank account, if you submit the withdrawal request before 10 a.m., the funds will be available in your bank account on the next business day. The one unique thing about Smart Park is that it also allows you to invest both cash and SRS money into it. Next, Stash Away has three options for you to choose from. Stash Away Simple, which is giving about 3.6% return. Stash Away Simple Plus, which is giving a much higher 4.9% return. As for Stash Away Simple Guaranteed, it gives you a guaranteed 3.6% return if you lock in your money for six months, which means there is actually a fixed deposit. As usual, the higher the return, the higher the risk of losing money. Stash Away Simple lowest return is just 0.23%, whereas for Simple Plus, it has given negative 3.57% in the past. That's why Stash Away Simple Plus is only suitable for funds that you only need one to three years later. As for Stash Away Simple Guarantee, is the 3.6% return good? In order to find out, I went to the sgfdnewcities.org website which lets you compare the latest FD rates. If we ignore the top 3 FDs which require you to fulfill some criteria, the best rate right now is 3.5%. So Stash Away's Simple Guarantee 3.6% return is pretty good. Finally, for Simple and Simple Plus, cash withdrawals will take anywhere from 4 to 5 business days. And for SRS withdrawals, it is 5 to 6 business days. Next, Safe Cash Plus has two options. The first one is Cash Plus Flexi, which gives a 3.7% non-guaranteed return. And the lowest it has ever gone is 0.23%. The one special thing about Cash Plus Flexi is that if you place the withdrawal request before 11 a.m., you will receive your funds the next business day by 7 p.m. The second option is Cash Plus Guaranteed, 
which gives a 3.7% guaranteed return for 3 months. This rate is actually better than all of the fixed deposits which don't have any criteria to fulfill. Finally, we have Tiger Brokers and Webu. Both of them function the same, so I'll just cover both of them at the same time. Tiger Brokers has a Tiger Watch which lets you invest in a few funds. But my personal favorite is the Fullerton HGD Cash Fund, which gives about 3.7% currently. For Webu, their money boo also lets you invest in the Fullerton HGD Cash Fund, which at its lowest is giving a 0.25% return. Both Tiger Brokers and Webu let you invest the funds immediately. But if you want to withdraw the money back to your bank account, it will take about 2 to 4 business days. So those are all the cash management platforms. But I guess the question now is, which is the best? Let's start with the guaranteed return first. If you are new to Mumu, you will get a guaranteed 5.8% return for 30 days. Otherwise, if you are okay with chocolate finance risk, its 4.5% return on the first 20k would be the best. Followed by Saif's 3.7% guaranteed return for 3 months, then Stash Away's 3.6% guaranteed return for 6 months. As for non-guaranteed returns, both Antowers Cash Smart Ultra and Stash Away Simple Plus are giving the highest 4.9% return. But it's only suitable if you are planning to park your money for around 2-5 to five years to weather any downturns. Because when times are bad, they can actually fall to negative 3 or negative 5%. But if you are just planning to park your money for the short term, it's better to just go for the safer ones. Like Endowers Cash Smart Secure, Mumu Cash Plus, Stash Away Simple, Saif Cash Plus Flexi, Tiger Brokers Tiger Watch, and WeBoost Money Boo, all of which are giving around 3.6 to 3.7% return. But so many platforms, which is the best? One easy way is to just use the platform that you are investing your money with. For example, if you use Mumu to invest, it's best to just park your money there as you would then be able to use the money to invest immediately. Otherwise, you can go for Saif Cash Plus Flexi, as its withdrawal time is the fastest as compared to the rest. Anyway, that's all for this video. Hopefully, it helps you out. Like, share and subscribe as I'll be posting new videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday.